It is cold. Oh my goodness. We are not used to it being this freezing out. that you had to floor it right at the end and I got stuck at the end of the driveway. Oh, yeah. You kind of have to like floor it out here. Rico. There are so many cops. Not just Puerto Rico. I've never the Caribbean. I've never seen this many cops. Ever. St. Sebastian is an annual festival held in Puerto Rico. Usually goes for about four days, has over 500 different artists that are selling their things. There were stages set up everywhere and there were tons and tons of people. At this point, all I could do was just be in the parade and dance along with all these people. I'm gonna get all these cinematic shots of San Juan. No, I get physically just pushed right out of the way. <laughs> what do you expect, right? So at this point, the sun's going down. It starts to torrentially downpour and we decide that we're gonna make our way back. We're gonna try to get some food, but this is when it gets like, oh my God, scary. We end up on this one alley I cannot move. At this point, I'm not moving. I'm slipping. We lost Scott's sister. It was so scary. I couldn't breathe. That was fucking scary. After finding Scott's sister and getting out of that crazy crowd, she showed us where the governor of Puerto Rico lived. And then we also grabbed a pina colada out of the bar where pina coladas were invented. Shockingly, they were not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Ending the night with some awesome street Puerto Rican food. I'm just going to call this chicken on a stick, but I will put the real name on the screen because I am not about to butcher that and no Puerto Rican meal is complete without one of their beers. The next morning I was able to see my friend Alexis who I have not seen in six years and he took us to one of the local restaurants. I am all about the food when I travel. I used to not be that adventurous but now I am. I had a dish that had plantain and chicken and then there was another dish that we had that had fish and rice. 
I just had to put this in the vlog because I cannot remember the last time that I've ever seen a cigarette machine, let alone a cigarette machine, in a restaurant. I was so sad that I had to leave my friends, but unfortunately with traffic and trying to get to the cruise ship on time, we had to leave hours ahead of time. And actually the craziest thing ever happened to me when I was in an Uber, Uber actually messaged me and asked me if everything was okay and I had to click that everything was okay because the car was stopped for so long in traffic. Mm -hmm.